ultimate Big Brother house. Tits. This is Davina. <laughs> you are live on Channel 4. Please do not swell, swell, swell. Kiss my ass. The lines are frozen. The votes have been counted and verified. Oh. And I can now reveal that the housemate finishing in fifth place is... Nick. Bastard. Nick saying goodbye. I'm coming to get you. Ass clown. Hey, Nick. <laughs> We're just getting to be friends. Goodbye, Nick. You have been missing. Please leave the big brother hand. Nick. Nick, this you just got a whole lot harder. harder. Hey, everybody. Today I'm going to do a uh, custom map. Solo. Oh, we have a golf club. Grabbing that makes the club. My day better. Uh, we have a custom map here, and uh, I'm going to do it alone. Because uh, in the future, Maureen will likely be joining me for these, but. Uh, I am. Um, well, well, she's well, having issues uh, installing them, well, so I'm going to do this one alone. I apologize but uh, as you may be able to tell, Mr. this is a Crash Bandicoot map. I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. And uh, I really so wish she wasn't having issues with this because this map's great. Well the so uh, like this. during the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens. Just gotta to wait for this exposition to finish here. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. There we go. Now I get some items. Need my health kit, and... Oh! Another point of order. Um, recently, I went through, and along with a bunch of new maps that I found, I decided to do some weapon mods. So, now I have a bunch of fun new skins for all my weapons. And, uh, those are probably going to show up soon in all of the uh, other videos as well, so... If you're confused as to why the guns look funky, that's, that's the reason. Bye, Hunter! Whoa, spit! Stuck in the spit! Stuck in the spit! So, uh, for a quick run through of everything I have, I have not yet reskinned the Deagle, and I have not also reskinned the, uh, Spas. But, um, as we go down the list, I've reskinned both pump shotguns, both SMGs. Um, all three of the rifle, uh, assault rifles, and both of the snipers. Uh, and also the standard pistols, um, which actually makes me use them a lot more often, because I picked guns that I personally love a lot. So, uh, starting with the SMGs, this obviously being the silenced one, um, I picked a P90, because I loves it. Um, I actually have this gun as an airsoft. And, ah, come on! And, uh, I love it. And so, I, uh, I picked one of those up and... Where did that sniper rabbit go? That kind of... Who kiped that? Coach. Coach, you stole my gun, douche. Anyways... Um, the standard SMG, what was the Uzi, so the MAC-10 became a P90, and the skin also comes with um, a reanimation, if you didn't see that, let me do it again, in light, it actually reloads properly. Very well made skin, I love it. And then uh, the Uzi has been reskinned into uh, HK MP7. Oh, uh, which of these is the most useful? I guess the top one. Because it has no health kit. No then, I the standard pump shotgun, I reskinned to be um, a sawed off pump shotgun, um, much like is in Team Fortress 2. And then the chrome, you probably saw someone carrying it already, the chrome shotgun, I reskinned to be a model 97. Winchester. Uh, I believe it's a trench model. Right here. 
That right there, while I'm looking at it, I may as well point- Thank you. While I'm looking at it, I may as well point out, um, those getting into the assault rifles. Um, my AK has been reskinned into a G36, and I also have an alternate skin that's a UMP45. Um, the M16 has been reskinned. Hey, some guns. Well, there it is. Into this M4 with uh, Magpul furniture on it. Um, and I also have an alternate for that. That's an XM8. And the Scar, I didn't do much to. I just reskinned it to look nicer. Um, it's a Scar Heavy, and it has um, an EOTech tandem sight on it. Not that you can use it, but I mean, it looks nice just sitting there. For the auto shotguns, like I said, I didn't do anything to the uh, Spas. I haven't found one that I like yet. I may do an AA-12 for that. Ammo here. But Let's see, there's a Spas. I didn't do anything to it. Uh, but the uh, other auto shotty that was the Benelli. I reskinned that to look like an old uh, Browning Model 5, is it? The first semi-auto shotgun. And I did that primarily because, um, as much as I love Benelli's, and I want to buy one before too long here, um, I just, while I was in the mood for reskinning everything, um, I figured to pick something from another one of my favorite manufacturers, which is Browning. This tank has me cornered lovely. Thanks, guys. Now get the other commons off me. I got some ammo um, right here. And then, let's see, going down the list further. Oh, I kind of skipped over the standard pistols. Um, oh, there's the shotgun. There's the browning. Um, the pistols I reskinned from the Sig and Glock to being... Um, a USP Expert and a Mark 23, obviously both HK pistols. If you can't tell, I kind of have an affinity for HK. Um, and I did that primarily because I own a USP and I love it to death. And I've forgotten where I go from here. Baby lighter here. Finally, um, the sniper rifles, the lesser one, that was a Mini-14, I reskinned, um, I actually have two for that. I have just an M14, that is a, oh, there's a ladder up here, duh. Um, an M14 with a nice wood stock on it, and then the, other, the alternate I have for it that I use more often by far is an M14 EBR, because that just looks great. And then, whoa, hello. About no. Then finally for the uh, big old uh, 30 round G3 uh, higher level sniper rifle, I picked a PSG1, which is more or less the same thing. It just is more purebred for sniping and it's got a cool Flecton uh, German camo on it, so it looks really cool. There's that EBR. There's that. PSG-1 in the environment with that Flecton on there. There's that EBR. And uh, in a way it makes me care a little less, all of these mods make me care a little less about what weapon I use because I picked weapons that I love in real life. I do love all the sound effects here. That's great. Oh, that was a little far to drop. I maybe should have rethought that one. There's a jockey out here somewhere. Dude, I hear some back huffers around. Yeah. I got pills. Yeah, what you want, man. yeah there's that scar heavy with the EOTech on it. Reloading. Just giving you a quick run through of things here. So you're not terribly confused later on. Not that it's terribly confusing to see skins, but... Oh, hello, Jockey. I've been hearing you for like the last 5-10 minutes. 
Guys, do something! Don't just stand around. Oh, you better be healing me. Jeez. Just stand around and do nothing while I'm getting eaten alive. Um, so, I switch out the uh, alternate skins just kind of depending on how I feel. So sometimes you'll see those alternate ones as I go forward playing with uh, Marine and Moses. Always stealing my kills. How's that do on the ladder? So, back to the level at hand. This Crash Bandicoot goodness. As far as I can tell, all these levels are based on um, Crash 3. Warped. Actually, now that I think about it, it might be from two. Some from two, some from three. And the the central room there is most definitely based on two. It's one of my favorite series from back in the day. I ever managed to get a capture system for systems and I'd have to play that for y'all. I mean, I know some of these uh, aren't all that different, but you gotta admit, that M4 looks a lot nicer than a standard M16. Oh, there goes the bots falling into oblivion. It's like they don't know how to jump. Is that browning again? Nope! I forgot to jump. I'm yelling at the bots, I forgot to jump. Okay, made that. Luckily that doesn't kill you outright. It just warps you back, like... How ridiculous would that be if they killed you outright every time? Alright. Level 1 is done. 